Hey guys, this is Eric from FinalCutStudioSchool.com and I'm here to do a simple, fast, quick, dirty hologram effect in Shake. As you can see, I have my green screen clip here. I just added the color space, a blur color space to smooth out my edges. Then I added the key light. And as you can see, the, the clip needs deinterlace, but after I did my color space, blur color space, and I keyed it out, you can see the deinterlacing is took care of. Um, I can still, if I wanted to, select my regular clip, go into other, and select deinterlace. Um, it might make it look a little better, but anyways, there's a common key. You can roto it out or have a key, someone on green screen, however it goes. You just need somebody keyed out or rotoed out. So now, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add a saturation node. Let's go to color, saturation, and bring the saturation completely out. It'll be black and white. Then we're going to add a contrast luma. And this is going to bring up my value to kind of bring out the highlights a little more. Like so. Okay. Then, after my contrast luma, I'm going to add a brightness. Just in case down the line I might need to brighten it up a little bit. I'm going to brighten it up a tad now. Then I'm going to add a malt node. Now this malt node under the color tab is going to give me the color of my hologram. So I'm going to go click my swatch here and I'm going to pick a purplish blue like that. That looks good. Now I need to give it a glow and I need to add, I need to screen a blurred version of itself over top of itself. So what I'm going to do is select my malt node, go to layer, right click screen and branch, select your malt node again, go to filter, right click blur, branch. Now we're going to set our blur to 45 and then we're going to bring it into the top of our second input of our screen. And boom, this gives her a nice solid glow. As you can see, she's glowing there. Now we need to add, give her a little more hologrammy effect. So let's add a fade node. Under the color tab and fade her down a little bit. Like so. Now I need to add some scan lines. So I'm going to go to image, checker. This adds our checker. So we're going to blur it. I'm going to add a filter, blur. I'm going to blur it by maybe 10 pixels. And I'm going to set it, the size of my checker, the X size is going to be, is going to be 233, and the Y size is going to be 2. So we've got 233 three and 2. So now let's check our blur. It's blurred a little bit too much. So let's bring our blur down a little bit, back a little bit. Make it maybe... Three. Let's try four or five, even. Okay, now we have this scan liney effect, so I'm going to bring it into the mask input of my fade node, like so. And there, this will give us our scan line effect. So now we need to give some random noise to our scan line. So we're going to go to our fade node, go to the values parameter, and we're going to type this expression RND parentheses, time, parentheses, enter. Now what this will do is, this will kind of oscillate the blinking. You know, and if you wanted to, you could even append another fade note after that and bring it down a tad so it won't be as strong. And when you play it, it'll, it'll blink like a hologram. As you can see, we have a hologram looking effect now. But we need to do something with our scan lines. So let's click our scan lines, our blur, go to transform, move 2D. I'm going to scale out here, and I want to scale this way up, like so. And I'm going to bring it up. So the bottom meets the bottom. The bottom of my scan line meets the bottom of my picture. Turn on your keyframe for your pan and your scan line and your uh, checkers, and go to frame one. Make sure your keyframe button is on. Go to your last frame, which my frame is 50, and scroll it down like this. This will give it that look like a TV set. Now, as you can see, when we go through our scan lines, are kind of excuse me, our scan lines are kind of oscillating. Let me go and show you how to do that again. I scaled up my checkerboard. I'm turned on my keyframe. I move to the last frame. 
Frame 50. And I scaled it down, moved it down like this to make it look like the lines were panning. Now we have a keyframe for it on the same, set on frame 1, set on frame 50, and as you can see, the scan lines move up and down. So now let's frame that up. Show you what it looks like. Not too bad, huh? For a pretty good hologram effect. So I hope you guys have learned something. You could also go in and add a switch mat and a ramp node to fade out so she'll fade out from the bottom and give her more of a fade effect. But this, you all can piddle with it and see what you come up with. I do hope you've learned something. I hope it puts you in the right direction for what you may need in the future. If you have any questions, please get a hold of me. I'd be more than happy to answer them. Um, this is Eric for Final Cut Studio School saying, I hope you learned something, and we'll see you next time.